I want you to imagine, first of all, that we're going to do this like a football match, okay? Everybody ready for this? So we need the mean, so we need the range, the mode, the uh, median. What else do we need? Mean. Okay, very easy. Here's what you do. Imagine this. Six matches had five goals. Five matches had six goals. Four matches had seven goals. Three matches had eight goals. And two matches had nine goals. All right? First of all, what's the range? The range is the lowest number of goals versus the highest number of goals. Can anybody tell me the range? Four. The range is four. Okay? Happy days. The mode is which was the most common number of goals per game. Which, how many goals occurred more than any other type of number of goals? Five occurred in six games. Five, five goals in six games. Okay? So that means the mode is five. Now, how many matches were there? How many matches? Add them all up and what do we get? There's 20 matches. We kill 20 matches. Middle one or middle two for median. It's an even number, which is the middle two. Divide 20 and half, and what do you get? So it's the 10th and 11th match. Now, really quickly, the 10th and 11th match would be the first. Uh, Yeah, sorry. Six, six matches had five goals. That's what the mode is. Five, isn't that right? Six matches had five goals. This is five matches had six goals. All right, so let's do this. Five, 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 five. Six, 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 six. Where's 10 and 11? 10th and 11th are the last two. And what's the average to do with them? Are we cool with that? Now, next thing. What would be the mean? How would you get the mean? Would everybody agree mean is total goals divided by? Total goals divided by total games. Anybody know what's total games again? Anybody know how to get the total goals? No. Oh, you know. There's a, there's a catch here. Anybody know what the catch is? How many goals in the first few games? 30. Dan? 30. 28. 24. And 18. Does everybody get that? Six matches, five, five goals apiece. That's going to be 30 goals. So you have to, will somebody add all them up in the calculator for me? And then divide by 20? Somebody already got it? 6.5? Six and a half goals is the average. Okay? Awesome. Now, taking the knowledge, one skater has size 3. Three skaters use size four, five skaters use size five, five skaters use size six, and the last one would be two skaters use size ten. So you gotta find out the model, skate size, the range, the mean. Okay. So that's what you're looking for here. And while you're at it, I'd like you to get the median as well. That's for the full practice. So off you go. Let's do this. The model skate size is size 8 because 9 people have size 8. Does that make sense? Calculate the range. The range is size 3 up to size 10, which is 7. The mean skate size, however, how many skaters do we have? 35. Now, 3 times 1. 
3 times 4, 5 times 5, 6 times 5, 7 times 7, and 9 times 8, and 9 times 3, 7, and then plus 20. Add all them together and divide by 35, and what you get? 6 points? Anybody else get 6.8? Alright. Now, lads, I'm going to show you a basic example where this wouldn't go down well. So the mold would fast. So imagine this, guys, alright? Imagine I did something like this. Ready? Five people have size 3. Five people have size 4. Five people have size 5. Five people have size 6. Zero, zero, zero. But six people have size 10. What's the mode in, in, my, in this case? 10. Is it anywhere near the average though, is it? Because the average has been dragged down by all these values. Here. So I would say the mean takes into account every part of the 35 people, while the mode sometimes only takes into consideration six or nine people, was it? So the mean is the better use of the average in this case. Now. Uh, can the mode be a half size? Yeah. No, it either has to, it, it has to be 8 or 9 or 10 or something like that. There is no half size. Half sizes would have to be up here, Mel. So it had to work like this. Do one down there. Or to be a half size, the mode had to occur like that. It had to be presented differently. Okay, last two question A. Now, just one thing when you're doing question A. You make yourself a frequency distribution table. So how many people are there in this? How many different numbers? Eight. Eight? All right. Oh, I can space these out better. So one, two, three, four, five. All right, you guys have to count how many ones you have, how many twos you have, how many trees, all the way up to eight, and then you're gonna have to do the same thing you did in the last question. Off you go. Uh, you can do a tally if you want. But you don't have to. All right. All right, guys. I forgot about the uh, median in question four. Does everybody see there's 35 students? What's 35 divided by two? 17.5 rounds up to the 18th person. What's the location of the 18th person? Well, the first 15 are, oh sorry, the 18th person, there's the first 4, there's the first 9, there's the first 14, and then it jumps from 14 to 22. So 18 will be in size 7. Okay, so size 7 for the median. Okay, my bad. Thanks, uh, thanks for that. All right, oh. I was thinking about doing a tally, but I'm not bothered. <laughs> Do you know what? I, I, will, I will put in tally underneath just, just to show how, you, how it's done. But, all right, how many ones do you get? Great. So one, one, one. Great. How many twos? Five. How many trees? Eight. Ouch. I have about eight trees. So I do one, two, three, four, and there's my tally mark there. Eight. How many fours? That eight then, no? Eight. Eight. All right. Running out of colors. How many fives?
And we got four. How many sevens? Huh? Two sevens and one eight. All right, awesome. Now, the fun part how many students are there? 40. So, you're going to have to do an average for 40. So, 1 times 3, 3 plus 10 plus 24 plus 32 plus 45 plus 36 plus 14 plus 8. And I get the mean? Mean is 4. Right, okay, great. Now, when you have 40 pupils, who's the middle two? 40 pupils, who, who are the middle two people? 20 and 21. Where are 20 and 21 located? Let's find out. First three, first eight. First 16, first 24. We passed out 20 and 21 when we used the number four. So they're both fours, aren't they? So the answer will be four. Okay, so the answer is four for that, lads. Who's the mode? Five. If the pass mark was four, what percentage of the students failed the tests? How many students failed? Sixteen out of how many? Sixteen out of forty. And what's 16 out of 40 multiplied by 100? 40%? 10 other pupils did the same test. The mean mark for the 50 pupils was unchanged. Calculate the sum of the mark for the 50 pupils. Ouch. All right. Ten other pupils did the test. The main mark for them, the main mark for them for fifty pupils was unchanged. All right, that's grand. The next ten students also had an average of four. So ten multiplied by four, forty. Awesome, forty. Okay, yeah, forty extra marks. Okay, this will bring the grand total up to. 40 times 4 is 160. Does everybody see that? That was 160. But now that changed to that changed to 50 students. So what it's now 50 students, which means there is an extra. The grand total is now 200. We're now on 200 marks in total divided by 50 students. The second set of 50 pupils did the same test, and the mean for 100 pupils was increased by one mark. If the mean gets increased by one mark, what does that mean? The mean is no longer 4, it's 5. All right. The mean is now 5. But how many students are there? 100. So 5 times 100? 500. 200 of those marks came from our first 50 students. Do you get that? Our first 50 students contributed 200 of those marks. So 500 taken by 200? 300. The second 300 came from the, the new, the new uh, 50 students. So how much did each of these students average? Six. One sec. Uh, Arne. For homework tonight, questions two, five, six, and seven. What page? 
Alright. Ryan, what did I do in class? 